fourth grade, I think, and have just never had a good time. And my family always told me that periods are just hard in this family and you just have to suffer to be a woman. I had a, a Demetrial pain, my sisters all did. We all grew up saying, well, that's just what it is to be a woman, it just hurts. That isn't necessarily true. There is something that can be done. I started getting so sick that I would be taken out of commission for a week every month to the point where I couldn't walk across my house for two days straight because I was so bloated and so sick and so much agonizing pain. And I would sleep on the ground in front of the toilet, just wishing for any pain relief at all. For years, we've watched her uh, with all the youth and vitality that she possesses, uh, just not able to do things, having to back off from yoga, uh, even uh, social encounters. And when you watch someone you love go through pain, you're, you're helpless and, uh, and, and, and it's depressing. I know for her husband it's been a difficult time because you always want so much for the person you care for. Um, we just didn't know that there, there was this much hope available. So I went and started looking at what endometriosis was and it was like the total light bulb moment of Holy crap, this is what I've been suffering from my entire life. I hadn't even heard the word endometriosis before. I was in so much pain. I was so bruised everywhere. I couldn't barely walk for two weeks. And all she did was the tiniest bit of work. I mean, she burned off a couple of little things. She like released fluids from my ovaries. She didn't do anything because she was overwhelmed when she saw how bad it was. And finally found Dr. Sechkin. Um, I talked to his office. Everybody's office staff was so warm and so knowledgeable. They were clearly really busy whenever I talked to them, but they never made it feel like they were trying to rush me off the phone. They were so willing to answer any of my questions and talk with me about various insurance options that could cover costs. And when we calculated everything out, it would, it made so much more sense to come to New York City, all the way from California for the surgery. He did everything. I mean, I had a frozen pelvis, I had an obliterated cul-de-sac, all these terrifying words that you're told when you're diagnosed. I had all of them. I have it on my diaphragm, um, over my liver, in my chest, everywhere. Everything is endometriosis and he did so much surgery. He got rid of 39 different locations. Um, the before and after pictures, which are gross, but are <laughs> medically <laughs> important. Just, he cleared up all of my organs. I have individual organs now, like you're supposed to have. Yeah. Uh, just the mass tissue. Can't believe how much better I feel. I have no bruising, like at all. Whereas last time I was all purple and green everywhere. Mm. It's just, I'm only on day five and I feel full of life again. Five days ago, I received surgery, which in my opinion was as close to life-saving as, uh, as you could get without that actual stamp on it. <laughs> the quality of her life, even just past the five days, color back in her face immediately, um, and just a lightness about her spirit. I think just being able to immediately spread joy and love within like a day after surgery, I just felt full of life again. I haven't felt that in years. It's been a journey that brought me all the way from California to New York City, and it was so worth it and I feel so much better than I have with my previous surgery that I had exactly a year ago today.